1.855 tons of raw cocaine. We had some concealed or filled in this 10 buses and the others shipped in in those drums. I'm sure you can see the drums over there. This is the highest singular seizure of cocaine in the history of this agency. What you have here comes to over 278 million dollars which is street value if you convert that to nigerian naira you are talking of over 194 billion naira and the men you find behind there they are members of an international syndicate that the agency has been on their trail since 2018 and just lo and behold a few days, by the grace of God, we were able to track them down to this building. This building, the man, please, I'm not talking to you. This building, it looks unoccupied, but then it's a warehouse for this international cartel. And we're glad that this has brought an end to the operation. That's um, the much we can take, except you want to get some clarity. Okay. Okay. I said from my stream right there, you have 69-year-old um, Soji Jibril, an individual of Oyo, I mean, but on your state. Next to him is Emmanuel Shuku, 65-year-old. Um, native of Ekulubia and Anabra state. Then next to him is Wasil Akinade 53 from Ibadan, also of your state. The man in yellow, Sunday Ogunte Lure 53 from Okitikupa, Ondo state. And the man, the Jamaican there is Kevin Smith, 42 year old native of Kingston in Jamaica. That's indicate. You should give um, the NDLA thumbs up because to be able to get to this place, this is a secluded estate. In this part of Lagos, you would know that that must have taken a lot of work. With the support, we have to acknowledge the support of um, our 
foreign counterpart that's the American uh, Drug Enforcement Administration, USDA. So this was jointly done, handled between the NDLA and USDA. So it's a lot of work. I won't, it's not the detail. We can't give you the details, but it's a lot of work. I'll tell you. Okay. In uh, cases like this, uh, at times before now, we have got some calls, you know, from either politicians or from whoever. Has anything like that uh, happened? The chairman of the agency, General Marwa, coordinated this operation. Every minute up to the last minute before you gathered here, he was on top of it. So you can know you know the kind of person he is. You know his antecedents. He's not somebody that can be manipulated or swayed by anybody. Gentlemen, I think that would be okay, all. Because so I have I have a statement. Kind of okay. Um, are these just um, suspects that are arrested for connection? Absolutely, you have them before you. Okay. Yes, I also, um, like I said, this was a joint operation between um, the NDLA and a counterpart in the U.S., that's the Drug Administration, um, the Drug Enforcement Administration, USDA. And you can also see where you enter the street, we had the full backing and support of the Nigerian military. So that's obvious that we also back up, we also have um, another major stakeholder, the Nigerian Army very really strongly behind us in this operation because you talk of this kind of international cartel, we need um, some backup. Can you just give us a little bit of substance? Uh, yes, you have to uh, amount. Yeah, like I said, what you have here is 1.855 tons, which, that, which translates to 1,855 kilograms, which is the highest single season. I'm not even sure you have that, you've had that anywhere in Africa. And beyond that, um, in street value, that's over $278 million. And if you convert that to um, a Naira, that will give you over $194 billion Naira in street value. So what he, he, was, like he was trying to ask you a question. Yes. Okay. He was saying that at the just if you are going after some, uh, other some other suspect, suspect or what, the the connection. The connection to this. The people we have, yeah. you have them before you. So. You would expect me to say more than that. I hope you get the message. So what would you like to tell Nigerians? Well, that they, they, the yeah, the, ch the chairman of the agency in this statement I will be releasing anymore from, from now, while commending the NDLA officers, the DA officers, and men of the Nigerian military who had supported us in this effort, he also said it is the seizure. This huge seizure is um, a deadly blow to the drug cartels and a sign that they will all go down. It's a strong message to them that they will all go down if they fail to back out of this illicit trade. Is there any factory? Yes, are any drug factory? Yeah. That, I mean. I'm sure you don't, we don't produce this in Nigeria. <laughs>